This is the Dark Souls Covenants guide. It'll show you how to join the nine different covenants in Dark Souls. Alright, so one of the first covenants you can get into, and it's one of the easiest, is the Way of White. It's right outside the Firelink Shrine, and when you talk to Petrus, you can join it by just repeatedly talking to him. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance, but I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. He has miracles, so it's good for if you're going for a faith build, you definitely want to oh, talk to him right away. You again? Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Now let me share my miracles. Alright, so next up is the Princess's Guard. It's extremely easy to get into if you can beat Ornstein and Smo. So really there's nothing to joining this covenant. You just really kneel down and you talk to her and you join up. Come hither, child. Oh chosen undead. The benefit to this covenant is that a couple miracles that are heals over time are usable once you're in this covenant. Otherwise, they just sit there and you can't use them. That's really about it. There's not much to this covenant. To thine safety, may thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. All right, next is the Blade of the Dark Moon. You can see I'm right outside of. Anne Arlando's main temple, and I'm going down, there's multiple floors on this twisty elevator. Right in there's to the painted guardians. So you drop down, and then this is going to take you to the special bonfire where the Blade of the Dark Moon is held. Now to get in here you have to have a special seance ring. And as soon as you equip that ring, it's going to make this statue of Gwyn disappear. I'll show you how to get the ring in just a minute. Dark side. Alright, when you're going down here, there's one thing you definitely don't want to do. You don't want to walk through that fog. It will trigger a boss fight, and you can never get back into the Covenant again. Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine ire. Hear the voice of mine self, Gwyndolin, and kneel before me. O oh, disciple of the dark sun, thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice, if thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I shalt protect thee, safeguarding thy person with the power of the dark moon. Alright, so to get the ring to make that statue disappear, you're going to have to go into the catacomb. There's a fake wall, it's hard to miss, and after that it's really easy to get to. It's hard to miss, it's got that statue with the tomb underneath it and the ring is inside that tomb. 
You'll have to fight a giant skeleton though before you get there. Alright, there it is. That's the Dark Moon Seance Ring. Alright, next is the Warrior of Sunlight. Now, this one is right by the Hellkite Dragon, and you'll have to defeat him to get in there. But beyond that, you will also need 25 or more Faith. Or, for each co-op victory you have, oh, you can there. subtract 5 I'm Faith from that total alive. number. Meaning if you help you someone well. kill a boss Indeed, five yeah. times, you don't you need any faith arm, to get into this covenant. Now, Solar does not need to be here to join the covenant. You can get in, really? even if he's not here. Yes. You just yes. bow down to the statue, what and you you'll jump right in One just the same as if he was here. Of the sun. Righteous knights, guardians of all that is good, in the name of the Lord of Sunlight. Only if it would please you, of course. Well... Oh, magnificent. I knew you would fancy it. Then join the Covenant. Here, stay still for a moment. Alright, the next one is the Forest Hunter Covenant. You're going to have to talk to the blacksmith, buy the undead church, and buy the Crest of Aturius off of him for 20,000 souls. You can do that to get into the front door of the Don't forest, yourself, or you can kid. kill the Hydra Neither and go up through the back way. But this is the most straightforward way, and it's really not that hard to get there. Now right before you get there, there's going to be an illusionary wall that you can break through. You break through there, make sure to rest at the bonfire because there's some fairly strong enemies inside of the forest. It's a great place to farm souls because these enemies in here give you a good amount and they're really close to that bonfire. So even if you die, it's not that hard to make it back. You have to make sure you farm as many souls as you want off these guys prior to joining the forest hunters. Because once you join, you can't kill them anymore. You'll be kicked out of the covenant. So once you find this cat, Alvina, you just talk to her, make sure you answer yes to both of her questions, and then you'll be granted the ring, and that'll allow you to protect the forest. Thou fared well to find me, but comest thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. Tis but a fairy tale. 
have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Darkroot Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defilers of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes, I believe we would suit thee well. I am very glad. And now thou art one of us. Let us establish a covenant. And here taketh this ring. If thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, then I will summon thee. Fend them off, sir. I beseech only this. I shall summon others who will, by their honor, work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever ye shall pillage will be thine own. A true agreement, not so. But thou must heed the golden rule. The clan is thine own family. To thine kinsmen forever stay true. Darest not in any attempt to double-cross. Have no doubt, such wretchedness never will we tolerate. All right, so right after the second bell of awakening and Quaylag, you can join the Chaos Servants. When you go down the staircase by the bell of awakening, there will be an illusionary wall. Now, when you go in here, you're going to meet one of the servants of Chaos. And when you talk to him, you want to say yes that you're one of the new servants. Oh dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? Then he'll let you in, and then you can talk but to you the have fair no lady. Eggs. Ha, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Yeah, he's a bit slow. Now to become a Gravelord servant, you're going to go into the catacombs and it's before Pinwheel, the first boss down here that gives you kindling. It's hard to miss, this place is like a beautiful monastery or something. Now the coffin you come up to is definitely protruding out farther than the other ones. You'll see it says nestle inside there. You can't go in there though until you get the eyes of death, which is right up here. You can get them from other places, but I mean it's conveniently right next to the tomb. So you sit in that tomb for about 20 seconds and then you'll be taken away to Nido's lair.
So to join up, all you have to do is pray at the sarcophagus. You can kill Nido and still be in the Covenant, but you can't offer Eyes of Death anymore to rank up with the Covenant. So you have to rank it up all you want before fighting Nido and finally killing him. So then they'll leave, all you do is you just jump back in the coffin and it'll take you back to the catacomb. Alright, for the Path of the Dragon, you're going to have to get down to the Ash Lake. I'm going to show you how to get there from starting at Quaylag's Domain. Alright, so when you get into Blight Town, you're going to just kind of want to hug the right side of the zone. So eventually you're going to see a giant root walkway that you can go up. Now that's going to take you up into a room with two illusionary walls that will take you into the Great Hollow. Alright, once you're in the Great Hollow, you'll descend it, and then you'll be at Ash Lake, and then you're basically at the Dragon Covenant.
can see the bonfire in the corner there on the right hand side. Now that's kind of, you want to make a stop there first before you go to the Dragon Covenant. So Ash Lake is kind of a one route deal. You just keep going and you're gonna hit a dead end. And that's where the Dragon Covenant is. So all you do is pray to the everlasting dragon and you can join the covenant. One thing to keep in mind though is that you can cut off his tail and get a great dragon sword. Cutting off the tail will not affect the dragon covenant at all. You can do it before or after, it doesn't matter. Alright, one thing to keep in mind is that you might want to wait until you get the Lord Vessel to come down here, because the only way out, besides backtracking, is warping out. So definitely wait until you get the Lord Vessel. Alright, to join up with the Dark Race, there's two things you absolutely cannot do or else you cannot get into the Covenant. The first thing is you don't want to talk to Framp after getting the Lord Vessel. And you definitely don't want to fall down there. That'll make it impossible to join the Dark Wraith Covenant. The reason the Dark Wraith Covenant is so difficult to get into is because you have to defeat the Four Kings before you get the other souls needed for the Lord Vessel. So after defeating the four kings, you talk to Karth, and he will let you join the Covenant. Ah, if you wish, I shall grant the art of life drain, the legendary power of the Dark Lord. It can preserve your humanity while undead, and cast off the shackles placed upon your brethren. <laughs> 